You can come here to the Wolf Den to get your weekly dose of video game news and speculation since I'm a fraud and I don't actually play the fucking games. But hey, Sun and Moon looks great, doesn't it? Let's talk about some of the great and some of the bullshit-ass Pokemon designs that they've got going on in there. A lot of people have been saying that the Pokemon company has been running out of ideas. I think that Sun and Moon has some fantastic designs in it. Some really unique and beautifully stylized stuff. Some not so much, like, uh, like Young Goose and Gumshoes over here. Young Goose has a face that an eight-year-old would draw. Are those teeth? Or are those just like flat on his face? Now the starters have fantastic designs. What the hell is wrong with Popplio? Why don't people like him? He looks fine. What is he, too cute for some of you people? Everybody had a problem with Popplio until they revealed his final evolution. Is it because they all look feminine? Who cares? And I said he before because all of the evolutions are 87.5% male. And I can't exactly ask them what gender they prefer because they're Pokemon and I'm pretty sure they don't give a shit about gender norms. A lot of people don't like Litten's final evolution, Incineroar, because he turns from this cute little cat into this massive pro wrestler. I don't mind it. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, it was like a little bit of a surprise when they revealed it, but look at him. He looks badass. Rowlet's final evolution is freaking sick. Desidui. His leaf hood and his giant wing cloak give him this, like, assassin look. This concept art over here really shows how versatile his design is. The only little problem I see is that his hood looks like an uncircumcised dick. As for the middle evolutions of all of these, those are always bland. It's like a transition period. Dartrix over here is definitely in a transition period. Okay, let me run something by you real quick. Who's that Pokemon? It's just a square. It's just a fucking square. This is the laziest you could possibly be with a character design in a video game. That's another example of a shitty middle evolution. The first one ain't so grubbing over here ain't so good either, but at least the last one's like better. There's more going on there. I think Oricorio, Oric. Oreo. I think Oricorio is a fantastic idea. It's kind of like Sun and Moon's version of Eevee. They wanted to fill the Alola Islands with bird Pokemon, you know, to keep up with that tropical theme. I think all of Oricorio's versions are different enough, but have the same features, so it's easy to tell that they're all versions of Oricorio, similar to how Eevee's evolutions are. May I suggest maybe making the POW style a different color because the pink is a little close to the red. The white makes it different enough from the red and black, but you know, you can make it like a light blue or maybe a green to make it really stand out from the other ones. Rock rough, rock rough, hell yeah. And those evolutions are great too. We need more dog Pokemon. Get these cat Pokemon out of here. This is a great example of using the classic Pokemon design formula to create a new Pokemon or a new set of Pokemon. The spikes on Lycanroc are reminiscent of Jolteon, except that he's a dog and he's a rock type. So that means that those spikes are like hard spikes. And the Midnight form completely changes him with this demonic werewolf look. His back is arched. He's hunched over with his hands really down low, like they're big and heavy. Wait, is this, is this the Werehog? Do you remember a few years ago when there was a push to get more donkey Pokemon into the game? Of course not, because I just fucking made it up. Beware looks like something and I can't put my finger on it. You have to help me because it's not Pedo Bear. I thought it was. Maybe Kumamon? It's it's some sort of like Japanese mascot, but I just, I I, it's not coming. It's not coming to me. I actually really like the simplicity of Bound Sweet. It's just a ball, but at least it's got some stuff on top of there, so it's distinguishable from a ball. Unlike Rectangle Pokemon over there. And of course, in true modern Pokemon fashion, we have the Hot Girl Evolution. Comfy. I feel like they had to do it because Alola is basically Hawaii, but man, this is one of those dumb Pokemon. All right, this Pokemon just is a butthole for a face. Togedemaru is a valiant attempt at making a Pokemon as lovable as Pikachu. He's a cute little ball thing. But if you're going to do that, 
Why would you make him gray? And why would you name him Toga Demaru? Make it something that rolls off the tongue a little better. This is a great design, but a bland color choice, ultimately preventing him from standing out from the rest. Mimikyu is another attempt to play off of the Pikachu hype, but this works very well. You might have heard this already, but the idea here is that he's actually horrifying. But he wants to be loved, so Mimikyu disguises himself as Pikachu. Or at least tries to. I think this is such a cool concept. He actually looks like a shitty drawing of Pikachu. Nailed it. As we get to the end of the Pokedex, we start to see some monstrous designs like como -o. Give me some of that. I want some of that. Buzz Wool, more like Buzz Swole. But no, I like that. I want that. The legendary Pokemon designs are fantastic. But if I may, Lunala needs a more prominent head. Maybe a bigger head, maybe just a different shape, but it's overshadowed by its wingspan. A lot of times you can get away with that if the head is more easily readable or if there's a readable body there, but Lunala just looks like a static shape that doesn't move at all. Zerkitry is just electrical wires. Like, I get it, but try again. And Celestelia isn't a creature either. I don't like it when they make inanimate objects into Pokemon. If you're gonna do that, you have to give them features that make them look alive. At the very least, eyes and a mouth. If the Pokemon doesn't have the ability to convey emotion easily, whether it be through facial expressions or through body language, then nobody's gonna care much for it. I don't actually think that the Sandcastle Pokemon are that bad of a design. At least they have faces that can move and convey some sort of emotion. They look alive. Polo Sand, not as much as Sandy Guess, though. Guzzlord is probably the best name out of all of the Pokemon. Guzzlord. But if you had to guess, what type did you think Guzzlord is? Dark and Dragon type. What about him makes him a Dragon type? Now, on top of all these new Pokemon, there are Alola forms of old classics, like Dugtrio now has gorgeous blonde hair, which I think is the best possible thing you can do besides giving him three bodies. Now, there's a lot of bees in the Alola region. That's why Persian's head is fucking huge, because he's allergic to bees. And he got stung in the... F I don't know. Marowak's mark on his head and the new dark color is a much welcome addition. This is some flair that works. Muck is now a rainbow of colors. He kind of looks like when you reflect light off of oil, the colors that appear there. When I see these colors, these specific colors, I'm immediately reminded of Milton Glaser's Bob Dylan poster. Some of these colors look like they were lifted straight from that. But of all the original 150 Pokemon that you could redesign, why Muck? And Raichu's just kind of surfing on his tail. Nothing to see here. But you know what? These Alola forms provide a new twist on the original formula. People seem to care about seeing their old favorites more than they care about seeing cool new Pokemon. So they found a way to include the original Pokemon, but with a twist. And I think that that's a solid compromise. Overall, compared to all of the other Pokemon generations, I would give this a solid B+. We've got some fantastic designs here, and some that should feel offensive to fans. But then again, Gen 1 had a Pokemon that was just a pile of eggs. What do you guys think about the new Pokemon Sun and Moon? Are you enjoying it yourselves? What do you think about all the new Pokemon designs and the Alola designs? Where would you rank it compared to all the other Pokemon generations? Leave in the comments below. Add me on Twitter. All of this other social media garbage. Remember, there's new videos every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday nights is Wolf Den Live, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Be there for our live podcast and talk to us in the chat. Blah, blah. And don't forget about the Wolf Den shirt that will only be around throughout November. So get that while you still can. And, of course, the most important things that you can do is subscribe and share this video with a friend. A friend. A friend who's into these new designs. Or somebody who's complaining about one of them. Probably the rectangle one. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week.